Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. And we made it to the collab, yay! <laughs> this is uh, week one of a Fairy Spring collab 24. I am hosting this with uh, Karen at Creative Paper Artisan. And then we have six other wonderful creators joining us on this collab. Um, some are new, some are uh, returned from the one that we did in October. So I'm super excited to have everybody. I think this is going to be a super fun project. So um, all the information about the collab is down below. And I will have a playlist as well that you can check out. Um, the launch videos are all on there so you can get all the details from there. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> this week is the cover and here is my cover. I'm not done with this. Um, this was just something I kind of started, but um, I did like a, a corset style cover. Um, and then instead of like making bows up here, I just uh, put the rickrack through some beads and started a spine dangle and then I will finish it and it'll be removable. This is all glued on some fabric and then have these beautiful papers inside. It's kind of hard to see but I did do some some fun stitching I know I should have used a different color but it is what it is. I do want to tell you that this particular cover is not the one you're about to see. <laughs> the process video for the cover that you're going to see um, was for a cover that ended up being too small. Because I did not do my measurements correctly. I didn't account for my spine. So, if you do follow that video and those measurements, be aware that you'll probably only get, well... Don't do it. <laughs> It'll end up being too short this way, which is fine. And you can, you know, trim your papers, but it just wasn't going to work for me with this particular project. So how I did this is the same process of what you're going to watch, but this is the cover I'm going to be using. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, enjoy the video. All right, so for my cover, I'm going to be um, kind of combining two things that I've recently learned. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> the base of the cover is going to be this yellow material, and this was just a cotton bed sheet. And then I've cut um, my pieces to size a little bit smaller than the fabric so my fabric is 9 by 6 or 9 by 12 because my journal is going to be a 9 by 6 so <clears throat> excuse me my covers are uh, 1 2 3 4 like 5 and 3 quarters by eight and a half okay and they'll go I'm gonna have about a quarter inch border around the material so I have my front and my back and then my spine I believe I did two inches so it's the same height and then two inches wide so I'm gonna have a little gap in between the spine and the two covers and then I'll have a little bit of material um, going over. This is not going to be folded over so it is going to stick out that far. And then um, the markings on here I did because I'm going to put holes where each of these uh, grids are and then the same here if you could see those 
and then I'm going to do uh, like a lace binding. So these are going to be glued to the material and then these are going to be laced together. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, it will when the time comes. <clears throat> now to decorate the covers, I'm going to do a technique that I saw. Um, and this, this idea I got from, I believe, Terry at Sweet Pea Papers. If I'm incorrect, I will put the correct name on the screen. But I think that's where I saw this. And then um, to decorate the covers, I'm going to do a technique that I saw by Natasha over at Treasure Books. And... It consists of hot glue and tissue paper and paint and fun. <laughs> okay, um, but I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and punch my holes um, because then as I decorate, I'll know where they are already, and I can kind of decorate in and around them if that makes sense. And hopefully that works out to what I'm I'm thinking. So, let me punch all these holes. I think just a regular hole punch will work. Let me try. If not, I'll have to get my... Well, I better get my carpet dial because I can see inside there. Okay. And also, I can... Put it on the correct. There's this little thing that will, you know, the little stopper. So they should all be the same depth, hopefully. Okay, so. Alright, so I have all of my holes punched, and um, what I did was, if you want to do this size, what I did was I measured a half inch in, and then I found my center, and I went an inch out until I got to the edge, and then I just went a half inch in from the edge in the bottom. Does that make sense? So these two are a half inch and then everything is an inch. Same on this one and this one. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. So we got those done. So let me get the material out of the way. And this is the front side. <laughs> Probably should write on here what you're working on and where the top is just so that uh, they'll always be the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take hot glue and I'm just going to make some fun swirlies on here. Because to me, fairy and spring is very whimsical and swirly and fun. And then we'll just put some little dots here and there. Some more glue. And let's see. I'll just kind of make a little 
line there and maybe we'll go kind of around there like that I don't want to get too close to the holes because I plan on putting eyelets in there so we'll see <laughs> I may not have room okay let's do a little line there let's see how's that looking I think that's I think that's fine okay good so there's the front and I'm just gonna leave all the, the little stringies things because we want we want some texture except for all these ones <laughs> hanging off this is the bad part about hot glue okay so I'm gonna let this dry shouldn't take too long and then um, we'll come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next all right so this is dry so we're we're good to go I'm gonna take some tissue paper and yes this has paint on it but I'm gonna be using that color anyway so it didn't really matter And I'm going to do each one of these individually. Um, but I want it all scrunchy. Because I want some texture. And it's just going to be glued on here. Before I do that, though, <laughs> I'm going to write, oh, yeah. This is the front, inside, and this is the top. So, just so I will know. Okay, so we want, well, I want the wrinkles and the, the texture on there. Um, you can use Mod Podge, you can use regular glue, whatever kind of glue you want. I'm using... Um, this is tacky glue. Let's see. This Aileen's tacky glue mixed with water just to thin it down. So you can see it's pretty, pretty runny. So that's what we want. Um, okay. So then I'm just going to apply the glue on here. And we want to get it. All around those glue the uh, hot glue marks okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on and I'm not being too careful come back over the top with more glue that helps to push it down and get it sealed really good this part is a little tedious just because you got to get around all the the hot glue bumps but I mean it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect I just try not to get air bubbles in there if I can help it okay Come some more glue and I am going pretty heavy on it because I want it to stick really good so 
especially around the swirls. I'm going to come in and push this down first with my fingers. Oops. That's okay because we can fix it. And I'm probably going to put like two or three layers of tissue on here. So if you tear it, it's perfectly fine. I got to remember to get the corners really good. I always forget. Forget about the corners. Oops. Let's see. Tear some more. Okay. And then you come in and just tear off another little piece of uh, <laughs> tissue paper. And we can cover that up. Just make sure you tear because it blends better when you're covering up something. You can kind of see a little line right there. There you go. And let's cover up this one. Sorry if I sigh a lot. I tend to get out of breath for some reason. Okay. Go over it just a little bit more. Make sure I've got it all down. Okay. I'm going to let that one dry before I do my second coat. Otherwise, I will tear it all up. three pieces done. They're still a little tacky, but I wanted to show you how it's looking so far. Here's the spine. This one's the last one I did, so it's still kind of damp. Form it back into place here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take some white acrylic paint and paint these. Let me grab that. All right. I'm just using this Basics by Liquitex, and I'm going to paint all these white. You can paint this any color you want for your base color. But I want mine to be white because I want it to be bright and cheery. three pieces somewhat dry um, this one is pretty good this one I'm going to set aside and just kind of set something on it to help keep it flat because it wants to kind of bow on me so maybe that'll maybe that'll help all right sorry I have paint <laughs> okay now, there's 
still some spots this that are wet. But this top part's pretty dry, so I think we're okay. So now I'm going to take this Extreme Glitter Folk Art oh, in Emerald. And it's not very opaque. So this is why I went ahead and painted uh, the white. So let me get my brush here. Oh, let me shake this up. Just in case. Okay. Let's see. Um, let me get my palette. Oops. I'm not sure how I want to do this quite yet. It's really, really wet. Okay. Alright. So my brush is kind of wet, but not saturated like it was. I'm going to put this on. And I'm going kind of lightly. Not doing super heavy. I don't know if you guys can tell on screen, but it is kind of sparkly. In fact, I think the wet brush is kind of making the glitter clump a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay. We can live with that. darker a little bit more on there <clears throat> and again I want to make sure I go off the edge because this is going to wrap around so I don't want it to just be white one for now. So there. There it is up close. And we'll do the spine. So there are my two covers, and then here's the spine. So at this point, I'm going to have to really let this dry because uh, what I want to do next is kind of a dry brush, and if this is still wet, it'll mix. Like on this one, there was still some wet white. And it started to mix with the green, so I definitely don't want that on my next stitch.
stage of paint. So I'm going to let this dry. Quit mucking with it. <laughs> More down there. Okay. Let it dry. <laughs> Quit touching it, Stacy. And then I will come back and we will do some more with this. All right, so we're back. This is dry. It's a little bit tacky, but I don't think it's going to bleed for what I want to do next. So what I'm going to do is I have this metallic luster in majestic purple. And no, I did not bother to wash my hands because they're still going to get messy. But it's like a wax type stuff. And it's kind of uh, lustery, <laughs> as it's called. So I'm just going to rub some on my finger. And it kind of softens as you rub on it and kind of heat it up. So then I'm just going to lightly go across this and just kind of touch on the, okay, maybe I should get that paint off, hold on, <laughs> it's giving me crumbs, just get a little baby wipe here. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, that's better. So I'm just kind of making sure I hit the highlights. And you can do this with paint as well. It doesn't have to be anything like this. I just, I bought this a couple years ago and I don't use it that much. So I thought this would be a perfect project. It's probably why it's kind of given me crumbs. I think I let it get, get too hard, but it's working, so. And I, you have to use your finger with this. There's no way a brush would be able to do this, I don't think. I get those and crumbs off of there. Definitely want to make sure I get around the edges. Put this over here. Whoops. That part was not dry. <laughs> I thought it was. Okay, well I'll have to come back and fix that. Okay, get some more in there. I love green and purple together. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Again, this is going to be wrapped around, so I want to make sure and get around there like that. Okay. 
Okay. I think that looks good. I may come back with a little more green. Let's just see if we can get some on my finger here. Here we go. Okay. Alrighty. I think that one is good. Okay, let's set that aside. To the other cover. Alright, so we have that done. So there's the cover and the two spines. I mean, <laughs> the spine and the two covers. Okay, now I'm going to do one more layer of something on here. And this time I'm going to use this metallic wax. And this is rich copper. Now this one um, is a little more, it's not as hard, so it will be easier to do here. And I'm just putting, whoops, a little bit in my palette there. Kind of looks like watercolor actually. Um, and then I'm going to take my My middle finger, get a little bit on there, and I'm just going to lightly go over the top with less than what I did with the purple. And mostly around the, the swirlies. But not exclusively on the swirlies because I can't keep it right on there. <laughs> and springy okay now this I definitely need to let it just sit for probably about 30 minutes to an hour so that it doesn't rub off so I will go clean my hands up <laughs> and uh, we'll come back and see how this is doing all right we are back in this I believe it's dry. It's not. It might be coming off a little bit, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so my next plan is to trim this off. I'm just going to go to about where I went out. Alrighty. Now, I think, because I'm going to cover those holes, I'm going to have to poke these holes twice because I need to, you know, fold this over, but then I won't know where the holes are. So I need to go ahead and poke the holes on this side. 
wonder if I could just feel. Yeah, I could just feel where they are. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold these over. Um, I'm going to kind of take off this bottom layer here. Maybe. I'll get these folded over before I actually glue them down. I think I'm just going to try to use this again. See how that works. So here are our covers. Still kind of a little damp just from all the layers of glue and paint, but I think they came out great. I love them. It's so fun. I'm sorry my, my lighting isn't great, but you can see the, the greens and the purples and then the copper. I love that combination. Now, let's see how this is going to look against the yellow. I think it should be fine, but I do want to double check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be, because there's not going to be a whole lot of yellow showing, but just enough. I like it. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Let's see. Let's see if I need to cover this. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to cover this with just some white paper. Um, just so it doesn't show through the fabric. And I'm going to punch all the holes again and put the eyelets in. So, um, I don't really need to watch all that, I guess. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to cover this with white paper, um, punch all the holes, and put all the grommets in, and then we will assemble. Alright, we are back, and I have all of my, um, eyelets in so um, yeah I'm excited okay so what I've decided to use to lace these together is this cute little rickrack and um, I like it because it'll be nice and flat I was gonna use some uh, like twine jute whatever but it would was super bulky and wouldn't have looked right so I'm gonna use this and um, I'm gonna do something 
kind of different and unnecessary, but my, um, I don't really want to say it's OCD, but it's just my brain <laughs> way of thinking. So if I start lacing these, I'd be like, you know, a shoe. Um, I'll have like one up top here that will go across. The rest will go diagonally and the end one doesn't go across. So that's weird to me, either the top or the bottom. I don't know why, I just, I'm not liking that. So I want the across part to go in the middle. So I've had to do this a little odd. Please don't judge me. <laughs> this is the only way that I came up with that made sense for me. You do however you want, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I have four pieces and they're all the same. So I'm gonna start with the middle and I'm gonna go through the top of that one and through the top of that one. So that will be flat. Turn that. That will be flat. Okay. So then I'm going to take this one and I also don't want string showing behind here in between here. So if I go from here, if I go from here to here, you're going to see string behind there. So to avoid that, from this middle one, I'm going to go straight up. And then I'm going to go up to this one, cross over. Okay. And then same for this one, this side. I'm going to go straight up to this one. Whoops. Straight up. And then I'm going to cross over up here okay and then I'm just gonna do that again I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna go to the one right above it and then it's gonna go up here and then this one, I'm going to go up to this one. And it's going to go here. And I'm going to turn all these so they'll be they'll be flat. So we have a cross and then crisscross and then You don't see any strings in between there. And here's what it looks like on the back. Okay. All right, so I'm going to fix these. Well, I'll fix those in a minute. Okay, so we have those. This is gonna be fiddly for a minute. <laughs> All right, now this next one I don't want to have two strings coming through here because now I need to go down. So, I'm going to flip this over. And this is where it goes across. So, I'm going to take this, I'm going to go under here. Okay. And then I'll start threading as if. This were the correct string. Okay, let me turn this back over. Okay, so as if it were this string, which it's not, it's just looped. Then we're going to start. So we're going to go down and then cross over. This one we're going to go 
down to this one. Oops. And then cross over. And then down here. Cross over. Down here and end up here. Okay, now we can see this string back here. I, I'm gonna try and hide that. If not, I think it'll be it'll be fine. So then the fun part is trying to get all of these to where they're not twisting. And they're somewhat flat. And getting this thing <laughs> an equal distance apart. So let me I flip this over here. Okay. So that's how it's going to look, basically. Um, okay, so let's get our fabric here. Yeah, let's see. thinking the easiest thing for me to do so that this is being held and we can get it all even and straight is to like go ahead and glue like from here back hold on let's see what the other side is going to look like okay so you'll be able to see through there but I mean that's I think that's okay I don't have anything. Maybe I do have something thicker. Maybe I do. Hang on. All right, I didn't find anything thicker, but I kind of have an idea. So I'm gonna try and get all of this where it needs to be. really see. I wonder if I just put, well no I don't want to cover the holes. Okay. I think that'll be fine. I think that will be good. We can make it work. This is more decoration, I think, than function because the uh, fabric is holding it together. At least that is my hope. <laughs> so there we go. This is kind of kind of wonky. But maybe once it's closed, it'll, it'll be all right. All right. Moment of truth. Gluing it on. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. And I don't know about, um, you know the glue seeping through I mean it probably will all right let's 
see. All right, so let's see if we can do some smushing. <laughs> Probably gonna have to do a little bit at a time. This will dry fast. Try to get it all the way to the edge. Okay guys, I think we did it. I hope we did it. We'll find out if we did it. <laughs> but that's what it was going to look like. I I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. <laughs> that is cute. And then we'll put some paper inside here. Probably a little towards the end or I'll come up with with something uh, before the next video so all right guys there we go we did it yay that took a lot of uh, finagling and fiddling and and all that but that was fun I really I really love it I think it's so magical and fun and different. So I am satisfied. All right, guys, that is it for this one. There's the cover. Uh, make sure you check out everybody else's videos below and um, follow along with everybody and make sure you comment on everybody's video to be entered into the drawing and um, I think that's it there's probably a lot more I should be saying but my mind <laughs> is really just kind of blank right now after all that um, so yes please like subscribe share comment join in on the fun of this collab and I will see you next week bye bye